Today I am here to answer the age-old question. Do Pelican cases and motorcycles go together? My answer is a resounding yes. So I'll tell you a little bit about Pelican cases, my experience with Pelican cases, why I chose them, um, and how they're working for me in my adventure travel, going from Florida to Argentina. If you're a rider, maybe uh, this will be helpful to you in determining whether Pelican cases would be the right solution for you. If you're not a rider, maybe you find it interesting to see how I'm hauling my gear from Florida to Argentina and how Pelican cases are enabling me to do that. So let's jump right in. I'll show you the various cases that I've bought. I've purchased all these myself, what I've bought, how I'm using them. I'm not going to probably use all of them. I'm, I'm deciding which ones to use. So, okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around and walk you through my various cases. Okay, so here we are. Here's my bike. First and foremost, we have the big guy, a 1610. Here she is. Now they call Pelican cases bomb-proof, they're waterproof, they're practically indestructible. So I have two locks on here. Um, these are made by Brinks. You can get whatever kind of padlocks you want, either keyed or not keyed with a combination. Those are combination ones. Uh, let me walk around the back. Back view, side view. So as I've said, this is a 1610 mounted to my bike. I don't know the exact dimensions offhand. You could look them up on their website and find that out. But I chose this big guy, the 1610, for two reasons. One, to fit specifically my camera bag with all of my gear in it. And secondly, which I think is rather clever, if I don't say so myself, is I measured my helmet, which is an Arai X-T4, and I determined that this size, if I say I go riding somewhere and I want to go on like a hike and take pictures, well, I could take my camera backpack out and my Arai X-T4 will fit in there on its side to be locked away. Take out my camera bag, lock away the Arai X-T4. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, so let's open her up here. Four latches, one on each side, two on the front. And boom, there is my camera backpack in there. You can see how it fits perfectly. I even have a tripod in here too. I'm not gonna get into opening up my camera bag right now. I'm making a separate video on what's in my camera bag, but I don't have the foam in the top. Um, it doesn't really fit that well, and I don't think I really need it. I do have the foam on the bottom. You can see there. Hopefully you can see the foam is in there in the bottom. And that's a solid, solid thickness. This is at least an inch thick, if you can see. Um, very, very cushiony, very solid, very, very thick foam. Um, <clears throat> so there is my 1610 with my entire camera backpack in there. Again, chosen to fit that particular camera backpack as well as my tripod. Well, I kind of actually maybe pick the tripod to fit in this case, kind of a combination of both. And it can fit my Arai X-T4. The other interesting thing to note about this, um, and I've made a separate video on this, is the EO2 system. How have I attached this Pelican case, you might be wondering, to my bike? Well, you can see this lock. You can see sandwiched between these two silver aluminum plates is a system, and that's the EO2 system, two pieces of extruded aluminum, which are connecting to each other and is lockable and attaches my Peloton case to my top rack. So very cool. So that's how I'm using the 1610. That's my big guy that's holding all of my camera gear and my tripod. And that's what my solution was for hauling my camera gear. Okay, next up, let's go over to the table here. I've got a selection of four cases. Oh, actually, I want to mention one more thing about the 1610. The 1610 originally ships with this roller on it. Roller wheels. And you can see all of the screw holes here that attach to the bottom. Um, because I was attaching this, obviously, to the top rack of my motorcycle, I determined that I did not want to use this. It was in the way. 
and it would make attaching it to the top rack further complicated. So I wanted to remove it, but I wasn't exactly sure how to do so because they use a strange, I don't know if it's completely proprietary to Pelican or if it's just an uncommon screw, but they use a different kind of screw that is square, has a square head to it. So here's another reason I am happy to make this video about Pelican is uh, like a couple other companies I've mentioned, Cogent Dynamics, who made my shop, is one of them. Like Cogent, they have very good customer support. I called Pelican and wanted to inquire about removing this um, roller system, handle and roller system. I was concerned about two things. One, how to do it, and two, if it was... Um, kind of safe or secure if it would weaken the case or anything like that to to take it apart. And I got amazing customer service. The I spoke with a very friendly woman who was happy to help me out and send me a whole instruction manual, instruction sheet for removing this roller system. So um, here is the screw, if you can see this. Square, square hole. I had to, so this is a minor complaint for me. I had to go to the hardware store and buy a whole screwdriver with this interchangeable bit that has this um, square head to it. So, you know, I don't really understand the reason for having to have proprietary screws and heads that nobody has a way to adjust. Um, maybe that makes it safer so it can't be removed. I, I don't know what their reasoning is there, but that was a little bit frustrating to me, my only sort of complaint. But I note this for two reasons. One, if you're looking at this case, you can remove this roller handle assembly. So that's cool. And two, um, you need to figure out a way to get the screws off because you can't do it with a normal screwdriver. So roller assembly can come off of the 1610, and I guess other there's a lot of other cases that have roller assembly, so I would think you could probably remove them from the other cases as well. You'll just need, as I said, probably a special bit to remove their special screws. Okay, next up, I have bought the Pelican 1470. And this is their laptop case. And this thing is pretty sweet. It can hold my uh, Apple MacBook 16 inch as well as my 12 inch um, iPad. And I don't think I'm gonna end up using this though, actually on my trip. I bought it because, so on my motorcycle over here, I will have two side bags made by Lone Rider. I don't have them on there right now. And all of these cases will fit into my side bags. I measured that out. I don't have the, these measurements of each of these cases on hand. You can look that up, but these will fit into my Lone Rider bags. And um, here's the inside of this 1470 padded. Obviously, I t here's my iPad, 12 inch iPad, stored away in a case. And here's my 16 inch MacBook. And you can see the foam comes like perforated in squares so you can easily cut it out. And so I've cut it to fit exactly my 12 inch MacBook, I'm sorry, 16 inch MacBook. Um, and it fits in there perfectly along with my 12 inch iPad, complete with some dog hair on it. So that's very cool. And this laptop case is very secure. It has a double sort of hinging fastener system with individual locks on each of these fasteners, like an alarm style lock and another key lock on the middle. So um, very cool. Laptop computer case. Next up, I will show uh, 1540s. These are both 1540, the green one, the orange one. These come in different colors too, which I think is kind of cool. I liked the olive green one, military kind of green, and this orange one. Um, both have padlock holes. This is an air vent in the middle, not a lock on these. It's an air vent. Um, that big guy 
that's on my bike also has an air vent to ventilate it. So these cases you can get with either foam, like the laptop case, or you can buy separately. This is the foam, or you can buy separately these dividers. Now I have these kind of loosely arranged for holding camera gear, but these all come out Velcro, they're Velcro. These are small ones. And there's larger ones. This is one big piece right here, this L. And um, this whole thing can come out. So here you can see padded, modular, adjustable system for holding whatever. I guess probably mostly camera gear, but could be audio gear, could be hunting equipment. Lots of different things you could put in there, but so these are all completely, you know, adjustable. Put them however you like. Take them out. Do whatever. That is the 15, I'm sorry, the 1450. This is the 1450. Very cool. Here's another 1450 here, the orange one. This one also has the um, additional padded insert. You can get foam like I had in the big case that, or in the laptop case that um, you would just cut to your own specifications. So you can also get it with that. I think that's kind of standard that it comes with. I got these inserts, these special inserts to have for kind of further customizing for camera gear. Um, but the foam works really well. I like the foam very much. The other thing I would say, this is sort of a complaint for Pelican or something for them to think about. The website is not the most user friendly. It was sort of hard for me to determine which cases were available to come with these foam inserts and which were not, and then how to actually order them. Uh, a little confusing there. So if you're looking, maybe have some patience because it's not immediately obvious and easy to determine which cases come with these special inserts. But in any case, the 1450 definitely does. So there's that. Finally, let's go over to the last case right here. This is a 1400. Sorry, I don't have the dimensions on me. You can look that up on their website. The website will tell you dimensions for both the exterior and the interior. And I have this set up for my collection of vintage camera lenses. I don't know which one of these I'll be taking on my trip, how many, but right now that's how I have it set up. And as you can see, this is the foam that came with it. This is foam. You can maybe see how it's um, perforated there into cubes. It's already perforated for you so you can easily get a knife out and cut it into that's how it's so easy to cut into these perfect squares so i've set that up to hold uh camera lenses and it does a great job the foam is very cushiony very protective these are solidly in there and are very very protected and if this is on its side on its bottom then i think that'll be good uh, you know i'll slide it into the lone rider side side bags on my motorcycle and then the lenses will be on their side and they'll be really protected and be really safe and secure in there so i think that will work really well so if you're a rider and you're looking for a solution for camera gear i don't think you can really do any better than pelican to be honest with you and with these um 1450s which come in like black or green or orange and maybe blue. Um, as I've said, they have those Velcro modular dividers that you can get. They cost extra, I think like $60 extra. So that is an additional expense. Or you could get them with the standard foam and cut it out to taste, which is a very good solution too. Just kind of depends what might work better for you. So laptop cases, 
camera gear cases of different sizes. And finally, two other things. I'm a big Pelican fan. I believe in it. I think it's really bomb proof, waterproof. This is my camera SD card case. Boom. Holds six uh, AV Pro CF Express cards. These are by Angelbird. Safe and secure, bomb proof, waterproof. And this is pretty cool as well. Pelican case right here. That actually is my wallet. probably half a dozen cards on either side, some cash, whatever. Um, I like it so far, really happy with it. Just a safe, secure way to, waterproof way to hold money and cards. So that's, I think, my Pelican presentation. Um, I think it's a great solution for adventure motorcycle travel. I don't think you can get anything more protective, more secure. And I think the company offers great service. I think they have guarantees on their products. I'm not sure about that exactly. So you could look that up and see what their guarantees are. But this big guy, the 1610, you know, it fits pretty well on the motorcycle. I, it's pretty much just as wide as a little bit wider than the racks are. Um, but it works really rather well for me. It doesn't crowd my seat too much. There's plenty of room for me in there and, uh, really pleased with it. Okay. So please comment below. If you have any questions, shoot them at me. I'll try to answer questions for you. Um, if you get some of these larger cases, just know that they will probably come with a roller assembly on it and you'll have to remove these screws, remove your roller assembly if you wish to mount it. Otherwise, it's probably a very handy feature to be able to um, travel with and roll it along and has the extending handle that like normal luggage kind of extends out and can roll. So that's my Pelican presentation. That's the answer to the age old question of do motorcycles and Pelican cases go together? And I would say absolutely. Love having this Pelican case mounted to my motorcycle. And I think it's the perfect solution for my trip for hauling my camera gear. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.